This video, published on the Republican National Committee's YouTube page, was created with the help of artificial intelligence, or AI. It uses AI-enhanced imagery to depict explosions in Taiwan, migrants crossing the U.S. southern border, and a crime-infested San Francisco with tanks on the city streets. None of it is real. And from the Never Back Down Committee, a video that features Donald Trump's voice. It was later found out that the former president's remarks were taken from his social media post and his voice was generated by AI. In mid-October, Google, which owns YouTube, announced it will require users who post realistic AI-generated political content to clearly disclose that it contains altered or synthetic material. Mark Gregorzewski is an assistant professor in the Security Studies and International Affairs Department of Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. The use of generative AI uh, in these ads, the price point has come down significantly on them. Uh, they are available to any person uh, who has a credit card. Um, and once you create these ads and put them online, they spread like wildfire. And some candidates are betting that AI-generated advertising can affect American swing voters. Given the razor-thin margins that our presidential elections have come down to uh, over the past couple election cycles, targeting those 6% of voters could sway an election one way or another, especially if you did like Cambridge Analytica did and micro-target those voters. A number of state authorities are already attempting to regulate AI-generated content. In Wisconsin, lawmakers want politicians and political groups to specify when they use AI-generated audio and video materials in their campaign promos. Violating this law, if passed, would lead to a $1,000 fine. Similar measures are expected to be implemented in Michigan, says State Representative Penelope Tronaglu. It's also important to um, let voters know um, when you are using AI, um, especially if you're using it to do something um, like create um, a deep fake image um, that just isn't really um, that person doing or saying um, what you think you see them doing or saying. U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar is calling for similar measures on the federal level. In October, she addressed social media giants Meta and X, asking them to clarify how they will regulate AI-generated political campaign promise on their respective platforms. In response, on November 6, Meta barred political campaigners and advertisers from using its generative AI tools. X, previously known as Twitter, has not rolled out any generative AI policies regarding the ongoing presidential campaign. Karina Bafradjian, VOA News, Washington.